to win tournaments and Navi and FaZe, they stand in the way. So if Vitality can't challenge Navi right now, then uh, they got big problems. So we'll see if they can pull it off. This pimp just walked into the cast room and flipped us off. All right. Good oh, way to yeah. start the day. Nice to be at work. Yep. Okay. Yep. Ooh, Sphinx getting to work early. They're going to find that push. Simple Perfecto wanted to get a little weird with the mid push. Instead, it's a four versus three. At least SDY is able to bring one back from middle. But we do have Bit alone on Banana. He's got two guns. As all the cool kids seem to nowadays. Zaiwu putting those things to work yesterday. And look, he's grabbed a pair off the dead body. Actually, no, excuse me. These are his own. He brought him to the gunfight. Magisk catching SDY. That's an open A site now. Once upon a time, it was bit alone at B, but Electronic made that rotate, and Vitality are just going to slice through this A site like butter. Yeah, no problem. Uh, the dualies are just, yeah. I mean, people are wondering. They just, so much ammo, really high fire rate, and tear through armor. So if anybody does armor buys, they're just really strong. Is the only thing that stops, I think, teams from buying more is just like when you need utility or like one or two people on armor. But outside of that, it's hard to argue against getting as many toolies as possible, to be honest. So this is kind of cool. Well, we got Simple back on the server. We have uh, Navi here at full strength and we have Vitality who have looked good. And um, Sphinx is just not a problem. Sphinx is the... Like, he's fragging as well as Zaiwu. He's first or second at the top of every scoreboard so far. He's even been able to adapt to maps that he hasn't been used to. Like Inferno, for example, where he didn't even really play that map on ends outside of a handful of times. And he's been playing the B site like a veteran. So, love to see this. I think Navi will be a real big test for Vitality on Inferno. And it'll be nice to see like how they stack up against each other. And we'll also start with kind of the Sphinx T side to kick things off. So it all starts with a pistol here. Force up comes in and simple on the scope instantly. Let's see it. Electronic MP9. Armored pistols just sprinkled into the mix. Solo bit again. So we've got that presence top middle just like last round. A little boost. Now, a nice scout shot from Simple, but the SMG of Electronic can't follow forward, so it is man advantage. Team Vitality, barely. Zaiwu, very low, very important. Damn, and Apex gets the upgrade. Let's go. We have seen Simple come into events on very low hours and do just fine. <laughs> He's so good. I don't know if there's any, I don't think there's anyone else that can do that, you know. Must be nice. Yeah, there's like maybe Zywoo, you know what I mean? I don't know if there's anybody else that can really do that, but... Came into Lisbon, super low hours, won the whole damn thing. Still the best player of the year by a really high margin, even if things have tapered off slightly. And outside of the missing the week, no. Absolutely nothing to wor be worried about when it comes to simple, to be honest. That's a really fair point you bring up. You know, we are looking at the Lisbon Grand Finals rematch, however, with what's supposed to be the new and improved Vitality. And that was, of course, one of the best showings we got out of Vitality throughout the course of that last roster. Their first and only big stage playoff showing. Now, be a team with a lot of stability versus the team that I think objectively won the offseason. I don't think the competition was that fierce for this offseason, but obviously they integrated Sphinx so well. Let me just see. I mean, my prediction is they make playoffs at every event for the rest of the year. Maybe that's not a super brave thing to say. I think that they are, in, you know, potentially in contention to actually win tournaments, but that does mean being able to beat teams like Navi or FaZe in finals, which is something we haven't seen yet. You know, that would be a huge improvement. So we'll see if that's the case. Again, like in 2021, it was Vitality, the only team outside of Navi to win a tournament, period. And it was only a tournament where Navi weren't attending so now there's phase <laughs> someone's got to win yeah someone's got to win and now there's phase in the mix who are neck and neck with navi and we talk about the winner of the off season fair to say that uh you know it was a team we saw right before the break as well but this dexter moved to og man 
Yeah, that's true. That's another one that was kind of under the radar. We had a content piece with uh, with some of the players before this event started, just talking about, you know, the offseason and, and the moving pieces and whatnot, and Dexter's name came up more than once, just kind of as like one of those underrated moves, you know? It's, it's not one of the headliner teams necessarily OG. You know, fans far and few between. I can't think of any. All right. <laughs> I'll just pretend I don't exist. But now, obviously, Vitality looking to plug and play just like they did. Scout on simple, MP9 for Perfecto. Very similar situation to the last round, which, again, was just Electronic dying top mid early. Simple coming at it from a different angle. So trying to keep those positions nice and fresh. The nade finds both him and Bit. Could have been worse. Goes a little far, I think. So they get tagged up a touch. And Apex looks for some space. Jocks for a position after seeing that boost come down. I know Navi like to stack. They have stacked up quite heavily here, but... Keeping tabs on Arch. There's so much time left on the round still. Unclear where Vitality will end. Though, as I say that, they set up for some smokes. And are met by some as well. Boost on Arch side, but Spink starting to reel backwards here as the Molotovs will indicate the commit. Magisk with the foot flash. Bit, nice Beretta kill. Kicks it off, but how about Perfecto behind those boxes? Seems to have gone unnoticed for now. Ooh, and that's it. Prime perfectly. Perfecto comes out. Almost a third kill with that one. Spink's going to have to clutch this. They get swarmed because of those rotates through the CT spawn, doing damage through that smoke. They kind of, for that moment, forgot about the possibility of Perfecto. Yeah, they got a little distracted, and the smokes were coming up, and they just had so many targets to deal with. So, well done on the positioning. Everything works out well. I think their entry was Majisk. I believe Dupree dropped the flash at his feet. It's either Dupree or Majisk who's up in front. Majisk, Majisk yep. And... Uh, and he ate, he ate Apex's flash. So a little bit of a mistiming as they tried to execute. And it's not a small thing to lose your first player, even if you have a nice rifle advantage. So that space gets taken away. Great little bonus round pickup from Navi. Straight into the big guns. One of them free. SDY swinging the AK. Simple still on the scout. It's not full power and simple, but... Still a beast nonetheless. Apex, oof, close one. Already almost dead. Falls away from that banana fight. Worse for wear. Shout out to Hedrick. Did an excellent job in, in Simple's absence just a week ago. Maybe G2 can buy him too. <laughs> they say money solves all problems. Keep going, Carlos. Bit waiting. Ooh, they're not so. Oh. No check. Mm. Little Ooh, cap here a little for messy. Bit as well. That's welcoming. That's a bad smoke too. Look at that. Nated. Dunked on perfecto. Good utility. Zaiwu, not a comfortable push whatsoever. Again, that rotate comes through from the CTs. They stop it in the spawn. They're looking for Sphinx to potentially make a play, but he just doesn't have a way to get this, you know, pit anchor off his position. SDY is still up on the balcony waiting. And so they'll peel back off of this. So a messy exec, another messy exec actually from Vitality, and it really cost them the round. They left CT open, I think, purposefully, but uh, after losing their first player, the second one maybe to check upper and they didn't get that first kill, then there was just a crossfire that just was pre-existing that was basically untouched, and that was the issue. I think they maybe would have died from quad here even. It defines Apex, really solidifies it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how that's going to feel. That's how I look when I'm going to space. <laughs> Spot early vitality. Three AKs up. 
Not nearly facing for Banana as early as they were last round, but Bit still hunting his shots and simple. Tucked in. He's going to be first contact. He looks away. Worst possible moment Ooh. to turn his attention. Double kill from Dupree. Let's see if SDY can hold this on his own. He gets one. Retreats into the big pit. Spinks up above him. Bit trying to move over with Perfecto. Perfecto goes Ooh. down, and so will SDY. That's that first bullet accuracy that we saw right out of the gate yesterday from Zywu, just dismantling G2 on Vertigo with that cleanliness that he here employs. So four up for Vitality. They've all got to look at Dupree and send him a thank you. Yeah, I'm not sure why Simple looked behind him there. Maybe he was trying to dodge a flash really quickly, but the timing did not work out, and his teammate in the back didn't get the kill either. SDY got real overstressed in, in the big pit, and they did a good job of just not attacking him as they got to the end of halls, and they got uh, up on the hay cart. All they had to do was show him that they were there and then let the arch guys go ahead and complete the wrap. And that ended up working out well. So we had a couple of messy rounds from Vitality, but that one's a little bit cleaner. And they also were very aggressive about the way that they pushed up towards mid. So early timing for them. They get that bomb down. They keep four alive. And I think there still should be enough money here for Navi to answer back. But still, this is good for the confidence. Ooh, and he gets away from that second fight, re-engages nicely. Wow. Electronic gets popped. Oh yeah, a little roll of the eyes. Doesn't feel good for Simple. It's Vitality. Making sure their success doesn't run up dry early on. But here we go. Simple on the op. Now the game begins. Zaiwu chipped away at. Stuck between the fire. Easy pick up there for Bit. Utility did not make Zywu's job easy whatsoever. Yeah, that was kind of a perfect read with the Molotovs. They made him run through a lot to um, find a fight. Bit had a huge advantage. And at least Vitality come away with top banana control. But look at the re-aggression coming in. Bit with the flash. Ooh, Magis with the flash dodge, though. Very That's nice. That's perfect. And Apex, actually, it might have been his that he was turning from. Vitality... Dancing around Banana. Gonna try this B hit yet again. The bullets whizzing by Perfecto. Uh -oh. Electronic. Ooh, he got a little pocket on that new box. That one's finicky. Yeah. Yes, sir. They I won't can... know that he's alive as well. And I think they've looked this direction, so I don't know if they clear him. Tag up simple as he sits in the back of the CT spawn. There it is. Element of surprise again. It's a player in a back pocket of the B site with a 2K. Just like the time Perfecto goes unchecked. Ah, just doing it all here. Three kills in. And it was both Magisk and Dupree that our resident analyst maniac brought up prior to this game going live. Yeah, let's drop a scaling flash here. So we'll see if anybody peeks simple. But for now, he's going to be able to allow SDY to get out. Oh, looked like that was going to be the moment. A re-peek in from Dupree. Both CTs now incredibly low. Nowhere to go. Dupree is going to offer up a double. That's a Danish full house. Yeah, they, they make that happen. So, I mean, Electronic gets two from his position after he's offered up a little bit of space. And this is where it all begins. So that makes it the 4v4. And then they do a good job of killing everyone else. So even though Electronic does so much damage, it doesn't matter at this point. The post plant is really well played. In an unfortunate situation, but they were also gifted the ability for Electron to get away with that. That specific Molly lineup that they throw, it's a little finicky. Sometimes it doesn't spread properly, and I'm not sure if that's because a lineup is a pixel off. But it should be the late spread that always catches it behind um, Quad. Boiler peak. Some die young goes down. Vitality looking to just flex the weapon's advantage. We've got simple and electronic here. Good headshot into Apex. Still able to offer us a frag. Electronics nades got Apex's name on it, but somehow that doesn't kill him. We need a close up on that. Oof. He survived a deagle shot to the forehead and a grenade on his feet. Time to buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> He's got that titanium armor tonight. Bit stuck into the corner, could catch Magisk if he's not looking the right way at the right moment. Bomb will soon to be picked back up, and all is good. This is actually a huge one for Vitality, considering how low Apex is, Dupree as well. Hell, even Zywu's on half health. These kills could have been pretty important. 
yeah, must feel debilitating to know. Like, you could pick up kills here, but they're going to be hard to find in SP-250. Well, that helps out. And there's still a total of three players who are super low. Oh, bit almost finds his way in. But no, no dice. So a very clean round overall. Again, three up. Legends of Counter-Strike here, head-to-head. -head. Trying to rally the troops. I feel like there were people in history that they made statues of that looked a lot like Blade. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair, sure. I was, I was, uh, too, I don't have memories from that age. Oh, okay. It was too long ago. Yes, this is before the, 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 my brain plasticity wasn't there yet. Before the dawn of man. Yeah. Let's see what he can offer us here in round number eight. Little Vi for control here. Ooh, two players in apartments with three on short side for the Navi setup. This could be Sphinx's chance. Haven't quite seen, you know, a big glowing moment from him. But the timing could work out wonderfully. He's going to creep it out. Insta kill versus SDY. Gets caught. And there's the trade from Dupree. So Vitality coming out on top of this. However, Apex, unsuspecting of a third and a fast rotate from Perfecto, could cause problems. He does a ton of damage. In fact, Magisk and Dupree barely alive in this 2v2. But the bomb's been dropped down by the hay cart as Magisk falls into the pit. Whoa. And Dupree hasn't really found a way to enter. This is interesting. Yeah, Dupree going back to mid. And Electronic's been real patient here. Um, but I don't know if he's going to get any brownie points for it if, if Dupree takes just long enough. And look at him, he's actually going all the way through underpass, so Magisk is going to draw some attention, and it could come down to the overextension from Electronic. It's going to be very hard to read that he's this far back, but he's starting to come up now. <gasps> oh, and Bit goes down. Electronic trades him out, and now 1v1, Magisk low. But the bomb, he needs it. Ooh, and Electronic, a little shoulder dance. 15 health there makes the difference between Electronic and Magisk. Means in that fight specifically, Magus cranks out more damage, but Electronic had more health to start with, yeah. so he hangs on by a threat. And he doesn't, you know, he shoots like he has more HP. He takes his time with it, makes sure to get that one bullet in right here. As you can see on this last shoulder. Oof. And it's well done. That's the composure you expect from the new captain of Navi. But look at this situation. Oh, this Triple is terrible. MP9. Yeah, this is a terrible situation. Well, oh, that's including, of course, the one save. AK held on to it to the last, but Bit, he can circumvent the weapon disadvantage oh. just by trying to get up close. Magisk still, however, barrel stuffs him and then falls back with the 5v4. So Vitality, this is a huge chance. You win this one, economy's crushed. Six rounds on this T side already. Big moment. Yeah, you're in the money for sure. It doesn't clear it with conviction. Jumps up on the logs. Looks to the right, but not all the way deep enough. That's just the smallest mistake that they need. That would have been a bit upgrading to a better gun. Having the 5v4 and bottom B control. World of difference. And now Vitality can start to influence the rotates. With all this map control. Little info at least gathered. Nobody inside the apps at that moment, but Sphinx is never too far. It's been a treat to watch Dupree and Sphinx work through apps as of late. Think about Apex, right? We talk about the CT side of Vitality. Him over on that B site, Apex gets the upgrade. Been playing with Masuda over there for a little too long. Firepower looking to just encroach on A. There's still a lot of guns here. That's the properly stacked site. Simple within the bomb site itself. Finds Dupree. So far, so good. It's near flawless. Speaks with a double kill. Goes down. Magisk pinched. He's got a problem with the player in pit, but he still hangs oh. on. Again, down to the wire. That was a fun round. Well, that, that's a tough one. Vitality, they try to go for something. Navi just meet and greet there over on the A site. They're like, yeah, we, we're overstaffed. We think you're going to come here. So simple. They all do a good job of drawing attention away from each other. Of course, we can see this crossfire. It's kind of like a triangle. It's carnage. Yeah. Like eight players all fighting tooth and nail. Sphinx does very well to get the two kills that he does. But that's just about it. So with a three MP9 round, they're back in the game. And now they only have two MP9s. <laughs> Still hanging on. 
Tight one. Everybody's money on the line this time. So Vitality going to get a taste of what Navi had to deal with. And Electronic opens up 5v4. Apex. They've they've been getting a lot out of this. Fast push up mid to, to kill the Arch players. But they obviously risk powering up the Arch player. And that's Electronic on 11 kills already this early. Ooh, Matt just burnt. What was that? That was like an HE as well, I think, that combined with the Molly. Died almost instantaneously. Just combusts over by the logs. A really big ask of what's left of Vitality. A little flash here for Electronic. <laughs> oh. shh, shh, don't shoot. Quiet. What? Comes out, lines him up. Ooh, there it is. That's hilarious. Sees him and just goes right back. Yeah. Almost got busted. Is that just like ultimate discipline? I don't even know. <laughs> He just started drooling. He saw him. Ooh, speaks though. Nice Khalil shot. Grabs the bomb, but he's thinking there's still somebody in that corner. Gets stuck on a swivel and goes down easy. So Navi, after surviving the triple MP9 round, the double MP9 round, this time they should just be able to feast on the lesser weapon vitality. Spink's not on a terribly low sensitivity. 1.1 at 900 DPI. That looked like one of those moments where you hit the side of your keyboard. Yeah. You just run out. Call that the flusha. Deagle's in for Vitality, as we alluded to, the limitations. CT side finding a bit of a comfort zone. Dupree in the interview with James was great. They kind of, he kind of talked about how like, you know, Navi, it's just like, you can, they have interchangeable pieces because our system is just so foundationally strong. They have, uh, they have just they have players that all know how everything works on top of very high performing high output players and they can all carry so you know even when Hedrick was on the team you know he fit in really well and then they just had so much carry outside of just Hedrick and the opera I should say you know whoever the opera is going to be that you couldn't even tell there was a substitution in some situations but right now it is really electronic doing most of the heavy lifting. Finally, Navi have zero MP9s. Saw the movement. Posts up, looking for feet. Yeah. This one way is really huge. It's not really possible for Magist to see Perfecto, so the smoke is great for that reason as well. And they know the T's are here, but the CTs are not pushing. Putting down more and more utility here. Burning down the clock into that red zone. 20 seconds. Yeah, they're both out. So, simple now rotate over. Time to go. It's going to take a zinger of a deeg shot from someone. And he's got the lineup. Two easy frags for Perfecto. Gives himself a third. Simple rotates in. And the last one goes down nice and smooth. Yeah, that's clean. I mean, they got that little info off the crack spot. And that's why you see people shouldering from Banana. It's just... Guaranteed info. It's really hard to kill someone in that spot. If you have an off, you know, you can get punished, but it's still worth it most rounds to try that. And then this crosshair, this crossfire. This is a classic crossfire and counter strike from CT and quad. And there's just no way to step past that line. They also don't bring a lot of utility to the fight in terms of smokes to exec, so they just try to do it with the pistols and go for the contact explode. Finding themselves back in with the bite. And Magisk. How bad do you want to fight for this? Oh my god, he's down to 8 HP already. He's just been bombarded by utility. And oh. there it is. Yeah, the final bell nade right there. Mortar strike on Magisk. Yeah, they trade back inside a middle. Oh, well, that's a cool find. Magisk taking the brunt of the utility damage these last few rounds. We saw Apex get absolutely hit by it throughout this event so far. Now just taking one for him. But they still get banana control, so it's what they wanted. They fought for it. They'll find it. Like one of the benefits of playing versus Navi CT side is they just they don't really they don't really play a lot of aggressive positions, especially around mid. Of course, Simple dies peeking down this time around, but most of the time they're very comfortable in passive setups, sitting and waiting. But they're down to one smoke on B. 
uh, means Bit can't play a position like Quad. He can't smoke himself, but this Emo Pillar is one of the best for multi-fragging anyways. Feels like one of those spots you have to have good aim for, though. Luckily, it's in his repertoire. Mm -hmm. No, but you're right. There's certain spots where some aimers, you put them there because they're going to multi-frag. Some people, you want them in one and duns. Of course, Bit is the former. Ooh. Molly still finds it. Oh, yeah, that's a good spread. Apex gets the insta dink. Perfecto from the pocket yet again. This side of the bomb site's been problematic for Vitality, but with four seconds to spare, they'll get their plant and despair for Nobby because no rotate ever got near. That might have been a, a good read from Vitality. I mean, they don't even bother Molly and Quad in this spot, and it's targeting bit where he's standing. And I think he actually does have a place to sit properly. They might have just thrown a really optimized Molotov just doesn't land right in the back of Quad or back of Emo and said it I'd love to spreads see out it. far. Yeah. I guess he has the he has he's unable to peek the left side. So if he's stuck on that one angle, maybe his body's sticking out the whole time. Just the simple fact that it makes him nervous about the spread can be enough to get a player killed sometimes. So a good exec here from Vitality is they just wait it out. You know, they can't deny the fact that uh, Nam used a ton of utility really early on, even after killing Majisk to try to retake top banana control. And yeah, simple is not exactly in the game just yet. Apex, nice. That's clean. Look at this one too as well, right? First bullet, two first bullet kills for Apex. That's what you're looking for. Hell yeah. You know, flashback to the old. Simple on the noob tube. Went it out, shotty's out. What's he gonna do with it? Sit inside of the apartment, looking for space, perhaps. Smarter Vitality, sit back and wait. They have been suffering a lot of losses on early banana attempts. Usually magic. Getting teleted. Not a great duel here for Perfecto. He's just kind of surveying with that MP9. This is what they wanted. For the T's to run into the M4 instead. Perfecto loses his teammate, but at least it's a decent hold. We've got man advantage. We've got a rotate coming over. And now that they're nice and close and personal, Perfecto stuffs Magisk as he comes around that corner. Wow. Double man advantage, so the banana fight definitely not going the way Vitality would have hoped. However, there's still something to keep our eyes on. We've got that Spinks versus Simple fight on Balcony, primed and ready to go. And if Zaiwu can just walk away, you know, it's, it's a doable two versus four. We've got Utility still for Vitality to work with. Utility starts to go over top. It's just about getting past the XM1014. And with a headshot like that from Spinks, they've got the open door. Now, Bit could chase fast enough to deny Zaiwu if he doesn't plant tucked in the site, or if he just takes too long. The SMG's good. Spinks into the clutch. A one versus three with no time for it, and he just gets hit. Felt like Zaiwu had to run in and... And Navi somehow have a lead in this in this game. It doesn't. It feels like it's much closer than that, or it feels like Vitality are maybe a bit ahead based on some of the rounds they've won, but Navi, I think on two or three rounds where they've had a couple of MP9s have been able to win. That really did feel like the test of the half, right? Triple MP9 and a double MP9. They're giving Navi a chance to get to nine here, but they are intending to buy next round. Simple with an op. Feels like we've had simple on a sniper far and few between. Yeah, even uh, CT Inferno, it's not entirely, it's kind of up to preference stylistically if you want to use it. This map is so much more about utility than it is about uh, rifles or, or ops, honestly. I suppose we bring up those MP9 rounds, no surprise that maybe money's been thin. But uh, Magisk gets sniped down, bit. Easy first one versus Apex, tucks in as Sphinx tries to get any kind of a trade frag going for Vitality. For the two AKs they bought up, they get nothing out of this one. No entry, no bomb plant, not even a damn chance. So as this one fizzles out and Navi take an eighth, that 9-6 half could very well be likely. Yeah, it's on the horizon. Apex will certainly have to make concessions next round no matter what he wants to buy. 
And uh, this goes well. So we get simple at the top. B grabbing his frag and everybody else coming in hot. Now, electronic 16 and 5. Most kills, least deaths. It's kind of crazy considering the scoreline is just 7-6 at this moment. And it's a lot to do with the fact that they didn't really go for retakes in situations where they lost B control. And that's very classic Navi to like either stack early and just not attempt it. If they have to, they try to go for it. But... Most of the time, they try to stop those plants, if possible. Easy pick up there from Simple. Every fight going swimmingly here for Navi. Yeah, it's just been a dream for Electronic. And, you know, we look back to yesterday, we had two phenomenal maps out of Vitality, Stomp G2 in the opening and the deciding, but then it was that 28 kill performance from Nico on Nuke that just sucked the life rate out of Vitality. We're kind of getting something on that line from Electronic here within Inferno. Enough rounds so far, so we'll see if Electronic can keep it up. We'll see if Vitality can break through. For now, it's going to be Magisk dead again on his plight to fight for Banana. Simple walking this off up close. First shot's great, and the second's just as nice. We said slower start from Simple, but you put that op in his hands, and he's going to deliver a few kills over the course of these last two rounds. Yeah, we almost ended a half without a Simple highlight. I knew something was wrong. Yeah, we go. Everything's back to normal. It's going to be a tough attempt to close out the half. Nine for Navi on this defense. Opponent's map pick. All's good. Just need Electronic to go carry mode until everybody else woke up a bit. Another thing Navi have done pretty well, I think, overall, is just, like, killing Magis, getting a lot of utility damage early on Banana, but just the amount of mix-ups that they've had with the different pieces of utility that they've used, I think, have won them a lot of rounds here on B. Final attempt from Vitality to close out the half. Zaiwu just goes flying forward into bit. Little bomb plant on the coffins. Perfecto doesn't pull the trigger. They know he's close. Ooh, 2v5. Fun stuff. And Simple is very slow at the bottom of Banana, so this spot right on default is actually kind of strong. Oh! Good chance for the lineup there. You've put Zywu in a 1v3. Apex got pegged by that decoy, and Zywu is not able to best some die young. With that, 9-6 on the half. A 17-6 half out of Electronic puts him at the top of the scoreboard. We've still got that three-round lead for Navi, so a comfortable spot for them to kick off their T side. Ultimately, it's the Electronic show. 17 kills on the defense, swaps over to the attack. We got utility here between Magisk and Apex, and a three-man lean on A. Yeah, that obviously has a huge impact on what the round score is right now. Red how fast we're moving. Oh, oh my god. And Zaiwu has been extremely consistent with the <laughs> duelies on these pistol rounds. That is no exception. Just first bullet, insta-kill. I think they were just using the poor guy to fake, too. It just <laughs> <laughs> There's no attack that comes out behind it, exactly. Spinks on arch side, about to have three players peeking him. He is currently the top fragger of Vitality. Ooh, now he sees a few Ooh. players confirmed. They're getting up pretty fast, though. Soon, halls will be compromised. They need to push into this. And Zywu goes down, and now Spinks loosens up, so passive setup. Opens up a perfect split. We've still got the graveyard here. Element of surprise. Dupree tucks back in. Very tough to get him out. Point blank. Oh! Headshot Ooh. into Electronic. Nice shooting from Dupree, but we've got simple 1v3. And Apex rallies. Headshot from him gives Vitality the pistol. Massive second kill there from Dupree. I mean, that was not easy at all. And that, that position got really overstressed. I thought really that uh, Spinks would try to challenge a little bit more as they came in. They had the appropriate reaction pushing into Halls to try to get control, but then Zywu dies. And then it just, it comes down to this one, Dane. And he does deliver. So that's, that's ultimately what it's all about. Graveyard particularly strong, especially with USPs versus pistols that cannot wall bang you. So now we are on the path to getting an even game. I don't want to sleep on the Deagles, but... They're not even armored launders. That's true. Someone say you don't need armor for deagles. That sounds like the kind of person who buys deagles in the pistol round, though. Hello. 
<laughs> nice to meet you. Two players layered on porch side. Magisk thinking about taking a little gander down mid, but he actually catches nothing. And that's going to pull one off. The MP9 getting further back. Dupree as well. Oh, could be like false sense. Those players were right there. Oh, Apex dunks one on bit. So, utility coming in strong. Magisk, a one and done, but Dupree with the mow down. Mm. Easy with the A1S. Really great timing. Perfect regression. Crawling up into those angles and laying down the ADR. We'll skip that one just a quick kill. Vitality, I mean, they're going to feel great. We've seen, we've seen some great CT sides on Inferno from Vitality. Lots of fluid transi transitions between setups, I think, of inspired B performances. I think Sphinx, again, steals a show as a player who barely has any Inferno experience. He does a great job of tethering with his team here. I'd love to see him get tested by Navi in this position. Ooh, nade find Sphinx. And honestly, I think everybody gets a pass on T-side right now. Like, there's only, like, three players in the whole world that even have, like, a positive T-side rating because of how hard it is these days. And Sphinx, I don't know if he's there, but he's close. And I think it's very impressive that, again, on a brand new team, he can push the envelope on the attacking side because that's just... Every, everyone, everyone is struggling there now. I think it's especially fair considering, like, Sphinx, all we knew him for was this Ents run, right? He's not one of these players that's been plopped around and succeeded in multiple iterations. Yeah, he just bounced around for a bit, started to get a little bit better, all of a sudden took off, never looked back. And yeah, he's, he's getting into prodig prodigious territory with his last six months. Pretty tucked in. Got Magisk just behind Apex here. So, MP9. Oh, had a chance, but nice shot from Electronic and an even better double third. Damn! Three kills from Dupree on the short side. Again, it's a multi-kill in this position. However, this time, it's versus full-fledged guns. Yeah, that's nice from Dupree, man. Killer instinct. All the way to the last bullet. And then he just pulled out that, that deagle like he was ready for a fourth. Yeah, you could see the clip in his mind's eye. And with 15 seconds, I mean, the attack is... It has been put out. There's no way to get back into this. They're going to turn tail and run and go and save and try again next round. But this one's all about Dupree on that mid-hold. Even after Apex dies, perfect trade. Counter-terrorists win. So we are all tied up. Oh, look at that little snap from Electronic. Little pre-fire on that boiler yeah, one too. Just reading the trade. Yeah. You know, especially risky considering the the ammo capacity there for the M M A one S. Even down a little bit towards the end before their last move, just because you know probably they just didn't feel like they could win. And he's really stepped up as the second best player. Oof, Apex overall. Nice spray from Apex. Dangerous, dangerous game, but gets away with the opening kill, and still 60 health. Just trying to flex that weapon advantage. Galil exchanges hands from Bit's dead body to Electronic's lively... Good grasp. SDY doesn't want to take that invitation. Could have been a very nice shot there from Perfecto. Sphinx drops his utility. He's now got an empty belt, so hands on the Fomus. Eyes wide open, ready for the push. In fact, I want to be careful. The only player right now that has any utility to work with. They're actually leaving him in this outpost at the top of Banana, but I don't know if they're coming back to it. If, it, if he is, that makes sense. You gotta pay close attention to the utility that he uses right now. But certainly not the optimal place to throw it from. Oh, the nade misses. Yeah, bad bounce. Just caught the corner of the wall. Looked like it could have been huge. We'll see if the pistols can get themselves in. Oh, Electronic with the Galil and SDY pushing forward to CT. Zaiwu just diving back around the corner, but that oh. primes some Dai Young to come through with the double. Ooh, that's a little tragic for Vitality. They had everything in place. Three players alive, all the regular spots. 
they weren't even going up against that much utility on top of bad guns. They had done some damage as well. And SDY runs through the CT smoke, gets his Tech-9 kill, turns it into construction with a better gun, and takes out the next trade. And that's just where it call, you have to call this one. So Zaiwu going down. It's the final piece of the puzzle. And Navi take 10 first. A huge one. Huge round to pick up. Making sure Vitality don't grab a lead. Freebies in terms of weapons saved from this as well. Three players up for Navi. Some die young. Take a bow. Flustering Zaiwu from the other side of construction. They really kept that simple. Now Zai will be picking up the op here, which he also doesn't do very often, uh, even CT side of Inferno. He likes to rifle. This map gives him an excuse to use the rifle more, which he kind of always expressed that he wants to do. He's ahead of the grenades. Got to be cautious here, Vitality. We'll get back, throwing a player up on oranges. Another Molotov as well to just keep simple at bay. A little part of me can't help but wonder, had that nade landed in the last round? Yeah, it could have, it could have, it could have, it could have been a really good bounce. I think the timing was right. Mind you, with how clean Navi kept those kills. Galil straight to the face of Sphinx. Barely even got a chance to shoot back. Well. Wow. Look how much pre I mean, they've not locked them out of peeking into mid on both sides. So the arc smoke is going to come up, but Zai was the first one to have info, and he's sitting back on the site waiting for the exec to come through. So there will be no support flashes for the moment for the B players in the site. They're going to play within smokes as well. They want this fight. Rotates far. Yeah, still no rotations. Still no rotations, still no info at all here for Vitality. Trying to hold this B site blind. Statuesque is that A setup. I can't help but feel like this one comes a lot down to Sphinx. 70 health for him, up and above. Dodges the flash, gets nothing. Apex, deep corner, also empty handed. So Ooh. that is just Navi, easy 11. Uh oh, yeah, that's not a great round to look back on if you're Vitality. They froze up a little bit. I think it was uh, Daps in the interview with Liquid who talked about how when action would happen, they weren't doing a good job of reacting to it. They were just kind of seized up a little bit, weren't as aggressive as they needed to be or felt like they needed to be. And uh, Vitality, throughout the last year, we've seen the system be good and bad, you know? And usually when you say system, that means consistency in the way you play. But I think for them, they're an exception where if the calling's a little foggy, the ideas aren't there that day, they do play vanilla CS. On a day they're playing well, they're going through fluid motions. They're never playing without info. Again, I think I talked about it the last time. You see so many flash assists in the kill feed, and this is a round where you don't see that at all. They sit back, they wait, they they split the difference. No banana control. Navi even took a good amount of time doing nothing. No one peeking mid, no one putting pressure down. The smoke and Molotov that came down at Porch and Arch, respectively, uh, they both came up and no one peeked behind it to clear out brackets. So they were very scared of Navi in the situation they paid for it. Even if that player doesn't do damage, that, that can be that can be huge presence. But they don't have it. So two straight for Navi. Another rifle here for Vitality, though. Deep smoke cuts simple off from the pack. Got Zaiwu here. So a new face at this B site. But just as he arrives, he also falls back. Sphinx. Ooh, blinded. Simple comes through that smoke with Vengeance and Apex is at least able to trade. He gets back into the site. Zaiwu a close rotate. Oh Apex still busy throwing nades. And Zaiwu almost gets caught by that jump up. Electronics blinded. Apex is too. Caught on the corner. He's in no man's land. How does he get those? How in God's name is Apex not dead in that situation? Everybody's blind. Holy moly quad. Zaiwu's going to miss a shot. He's got bit crossing over. Oh, and he finds nothing here. Oh, they did such a good job of dealing with him. Man, the continuation flashes this round are absolutely insane. Now it's not over, and they have a B flank coming in fast. We're switching to Danish.
Good amounts of utility. Molly in first. Dupree starts to test the site, gets the first challenge. Bit keeps his head tucked. Magisk loses his. Ah, uh, there's no chance now. And that's a safe call. Yeah, they can fall back to Khan. It's opened up, so the, the wow. first kill in this 2v2 was critical. They couldn't find it. What a and round. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, outside of Apex's crazy 2k that they got, they basically stood no chance of holding down this site, right? Opening duel on Sphinx one that early, but everyone was blind that entire way through. We can give some credit to the counter flashes from the CD side, but ultimately it's the T flashes that make the most difference. Look and even this. the final play, they continue to layer the utility as Zaiwu is stuck between Emo and looking to move to quad, which would be the golden position for him to stand. And they molly it as the exec is already taking place. So they don't switch to running out dry. And um, yeah, all you can do is laugh. I don't know. I think he did pretty good. He did fantastic. I think he did really good. I love he hits that he hits that critical moment where it's like, oh, I didn't get back. Well, then this is all I can try to do. Right. Yeah. I think he. And the fact. In that fact, Bits, he did the most. Yeah. He did the most of any. Three anybody. kills. Yeah. Three kills. He traded out the oh, first he did one. Three. Wow. Yeah. He got simple on that uh, that that quick trade, right before he fell back. Just the fact that Apex gets a three K and they still lose the B site. Read the solo M4 as he saved in the last round, so he quickly goes and clears alt mid. Sphinx with the oh, point blank shot. deek. Electronic just deleted, but perfecto. Oh, that He's could got be the more. side of that. As soon as they went to go get the gun, he shot him. Sphinx nearly the same situation. Smoke grenade fades. Everybody's leaned over. Now they didn't get that second M4 over here because Dupree's still doing his own thing on the A site. Sphinx has grabbed it. Oh, deleted by Bit though. Clean headshot with the AK. And now the pistols are going to try to squeeze anything else out of this, but right. it seems like Navi have tons of runway to keep this T side moving. No wasted space there by bit. Every single flick, every single clear. On point. Well, chill for the plant. It's unstoppable though. Bomb has been planted. Strong entries. That uh, refract through the smoke from Perfecto is huge. Like as soon as they went to go pick up the gun, right? That, that would have been 5v4 and it would have been scary sitting behind the smoke, but. That, that changes it up. So Navi hit 13. I don't know if Vitality break the piggy bank next round, but they might want to. Actually, are they good? No, they did save this one, so they, they should have enough, yeah. Sim4 could help. Oh, but it's not going to be kept. So... Bomb pops, three survive here for Navi. Again, it's just rinse and repeat, ramming their way through this B site. Yeah. Now, at the end of the day, this map has not been about simple, but the other pieces of Navi have been like, pretty extraordinary still, so there's really no shame in losing. At least it... I looked across the room and saw Blade reading an encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. I'd feel like they'd know what I was doing no matter what I tried to play. There's an intimidation fact. I mean, it could be gibberish. <laughs> Just doodles. For now, I'm gonna send Simple to the top of Banana, see what he can get. I like that too. T side Molly behind the logs, even though they've already got it cleared. I think they're they're trying to goad them into taking it. So here here is the, the Molly that comes down, and they can boost to, to see over top of the smoke if they want to. And yeah, they start Ooh. to make presence. I honestly think if you wait this out, the CTs are the ones who will get the most scared. Good grenade damage. Yeah, and they peel back. Still a lot of time, though, in that little banana play that just cost all the grenades on that B site, essentially. Yeah. Apex still has... Oh, never mind. Sphinx just grabbed another smoke. I think, yeah, there's some a couple of things on the ground, and Navi have used a lot of utility themselves, but they have just enough to go through with an entirely full exec, especially with the Molotovs left over. That makes me feel like they still want to end in, at the B site. Magisk. Why? Falls down, doesn't get caught. Would have exchanged glances with some die young. Wow, is this a late fake? They're not going to wrap through Arch. They are pressing the time right now. 25 seconds. And the bomb is starting to go back to A now. This is crazy. A big... Bits ahead of all the grenades. Sees Sphinx's arm. Tracks in. Sphinx comes out. Okay. Gets the kill. Zywoo will be chased 
And Simple's looking for the follow-up here. We've got five seconds to spare. He gets the player in pit. Dupree just needs to stop. Bomb and perfecto. No. Ooh. Not by the looks of things. Ah, just misses that bomb plant. Would have been a squeeze that he'd still have to pull out in that 1v2 with 30 health. Yeah, and they actually don't push him, even though the uh, round ended, so they could have had a chance there to do a dent to the economy, but they got to worry about their own. CG side, everything's so expensive. So they'll take that win. I think Navi beat themselves a little bit here. They could have done either site pretty effectively because they had this utility advantage, but this fake isn't really that useful at this point in the round because there's no rotations that are going to come out. Spinks would have taken some time to get there. His teammate had already left. That, that felt more like attacking two sites at once as opposed to faking one site and taking the other. Forget about that A site and just hit B again. This has gone very well for Navi multiple times, but Apex, quick kill versus simple. It's got the trade. Spinks, you gotta get something. Player goes over top, doesn't react, and dies. Mm. Man advantage for Navi. Bomb plant on the B site, but at the very least for Vitality, they do still have players near. Still, though, just desperate. Everybody tagged up from Navi. It's not an ideal spot, but they've also still got the CT smoked out and a very, very compelling save here from Vitality. So they walk out, they leave. Yeah, so I mean, I had a lot of great things to say about Sphinx, I think, and again, where a lot of his highlights came from were not within the site, they were like, while pushing. In this spot, Sphinx is starting to repeat positions a lot, like he was up top on oranges, they heard him drop, and then when his teammate died, there was no way for him to get out of there, there was a molly behind him, he could only swing a little bit, so put himself in an awkward position, and he's kind of been eating the flash over and over again when he's been sitting up there, so I think in terms of where they're both playing together, they could add a little bit more flavor, try something new. Could have been worse. They come in with more grenades, decent amounts of guns, vitality. Let Navi get 15 here, strap for cash, and a tough wow. way to end, but those grenades are phenomenal. Damage wasn't a problem, even the last round as well. Vitality, they softened him up, but you gotta knock him down. And I think this is more what you were talking about when Sphinx's performance is kind of hit on this B site, right? Yeah. Getting out of that bomb site, moving it forward. With a flash like that, he gets one. And he's got Zaiwu behind him, but no overcommitment here from Vitality. Navi's starting to suss out the apartments. And with Zaiwu to get that kill, I'm not Apex. This, of course, shows him that it's definitely a 3B setup. But they're not moving up to mid. I think instead they're hoping that Vitality, the ones who get scared, maybe rotate out. Oh, this push. Apex. Ballsy, oh, but Zaiwu empty-handed. Oh, man, I thought that Navi were going to go back after seeing him, maybe. Oh, that's a... That's a, ooh, that's a tough one to recover. Yeah, they actually just stood patient. I thought they were making the right play, like waiting it out, letting Navi come back to them. Do you go for this? I mean, the nade could find, nope, not even. Yeah, it'll hit some die young. If that nade falls on simple or bit, then maybe it's a kill. That's a cool nade, it goes over quad. Yep, look like it. Wow, just no chance to get back into this. So yeah, again, I think what happened is that Zaiwu gets his kill after Spinks peaks. No, Spinks got it first. After Spinks peaks. And then they think that it's 3B because Zaiwu gets the kill. And after they trade him, or after he goes back, then uh, Vitality are like, all right, well, they're probably going to go back to A now. But that just never happened. Uh-oh. So be it. Cut your losses. You've got five map points to close out Inferno. Did they see him? Oh, the assist, yep. Yep, yep. Spinks takes the first kill with him. And a tough one. I don't know about the thumbs up, <laughs> man. CT side still trying to figure out this B-hold. Again, you've got the guns, you got the grenades. Last round was a bit more boisterous. Got aggressive. Just 
In fact, Zaiwu dies empty-handed on that third attempt. Oh, and it's fast from Pit. Right past the flames. And a molly to push him back. Dupree. Man, I feel like we haven't seen much go down in apartments. And some die young's gonna change that magisk a lot to do here. You know, this has been the same problem with the B site, the numbers game that Navi have just been leaning into. Magisk has to deliver and then some. Molly to try and cut them off. He gets electronic first. Sees the player dive into the site. He's got a problem. Some die young. Two kills in the apps, and now you have to go for this. Taking Zaiwu off of that A site, putting him on B in back-to-back -back rounds. And Navi just reacting one step faster. Two smokes, two flashes. But they still have to wait out. The one in front of Moto. Now it's been clear. Apex looking for the contact as the two other CTs try to press up, but they lose Apex before they see anything. And now four members of Navi just ready to gun them down. A 